So do you have a fight set up already next, or kind of waiting to see what happens? Kind of waiting to see what happens. I'm supposed to fight August 15th in a Call to Arms show. It's, I think it's a new show. Yeah. It's at the Citizen Bank in Ontario or something. But I haven't found out my opponent yet, so I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Now when you're uh, just training, you know, to stay in shape and then training for a fight, how's your training differ? It's not much different. I'm training pretty hard every right. lot throughout the week, mostly. So yeah, I don't really take a lot of breaks. No dieting or anything that goes on? or. I diet a little bit, but I could if I work, I work out so much, I could kind of eat whatever I feel like it. Uh, yeah, the, the rumor is that you're just a gym rat man, that yeah. you're always in there. <laughs> so, I mean, that's good, you know, I mean, you got to stay on top of your game. Now, you've been on a tear as of late, you know, 10 of 11 fights, you know, wins, and, um, you know, you had nine fights in a row. Uh, how were you able to turn around your career? Because, I mean, at one point you were like 6, 8, and 1, yeah. and then all of a sudden you just completely change things. What do you think that uh, is the reason for that? A uh, big reason for that is my coaching staff and I got with Colin Oyama. I started changing my game more to MMA. Before I was just training at a Nogi Jiu Jitsu school and I didn't really learn how to punch, kick, or punch on the ground or anything. And once I started training with Colin, I started learning a full mixed martial arts game. I started realizing it's not Jiu Jitsu in the cage no more. I just, before I just try to win and hold out to the win. And now I try to win in good fashion. You know. Now, uh, your l last loss was the two LC fights Davis. ago. Yeah, LC Davis, LC Davis, two fights ago at a, in January at Affliction Day of Reckoning. Um, you hadn't lost in about two and a half years. How do you kind of deal with, you know, losing a fight again? I mean, do you have to change, do you go back and change your game? Or, I mean, how do you? No. Uh, for that fight, I took on short notice. Um, I don't want to make excuses, but I did get gassed out more than and I didn't expect to gas out that hard. And I haven't gassed out that hard in a long time. And I've lost before. I could handle it, you know. I, I just guess like I train harder and bounce back right back up. I can't let a, one loss hold me down. It's my career, so it, my, I can't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm even bummed and make excuses all day. I just get back in there and start training harder than before. Now, you're, you know, making waves in the featherweight division. All guys, you know, know that it's no joke when they're going to fight you. I mean, you, you know, you beat, you know, some, some big names out there. You know, Doug Evans, you know, fun of the UFC. And then you won the Icon, you know, sports title. Um, do you plan on going back to Icon and defending that, or? I don't think they even have a show no more. No, they're done? They, they went, they vanished with Elite XC as yeah, well? Yeah, they vanished. With, they're the same company as Elite XC, and I think they vanished. So... Knowing that, uh, you know, you're fighting, you fought Strike Strikeforce last time, is your contract with them exclusive? Or like you said, you're going to fight Call to Arms. I mean, are they willing to co-promote like that? Yeah, they, they let me fight in other shows. I just got to ask them beforehand. But I have a three-fight contract with them, so I have a couple more fights with them. All right. Now, you know, you're making, like I said, you're making waves in the featherweight division. If you could fight any guy right now, who would it be and why? I don't know particularly guys I want to fight. I just want to fight anyone and make, make good money and fight for what I'm worth, you know, and put, put on good fights for people to watch getting my name out there. Now, a question we ask uh, everybody we interview is, if you weren't a professional fighter, what would you be doing as a profession? Probably be uh, in jail or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. But I was getting in a lot of trouble before I started fighting, and then once I started fighting, I kind of calmed down and stayed out of trouble, and ever since then, I've gotten in no real trouble with it. So you think just like the discipline that it takes to be a fighter? I mean, because people don't understand, you know, you come to this gym, and like, we were just watching you train, and that was... We got here at about 11 o'clock, and it's 2 o'clock now, and you yeah. just finished training right now. <laughs> that's just a regular, that's just the usual Saturday that we do, and my whole life revolves around training right now, and that's all I really do. I'm not a well-rounded person, so pretty much I, I just go to the gym. We, I teach classes at TimoYamaMMA.com, and that's pretty much my life right now. So that's all I've been doing, and after I'm done fighting, I'll probably just start coaching. Okay. Now, everybody out there, you know, they want to learn some MMA, they want to learn, you know, Muay Thai. And you said, you know, you joined up with Colin and then your game completely evolved. I mean, can you tell people how important it is when they're going to, you know, decide to go into this to get with a good camp? Because a lot of times, you know, people kind of just join the gym based on price, you know? Right. Uh, can you just kind of explain them why they need to get a good camp when they're going to try to compete? If you're going to fight, you want to go somewhere where you're not the king of the gym. I don't want to be the, the number one guy in here. I want to be the number one guy out there, you know? A lot of people go, they don't want to go to a team where they're getting their ass kicked or they just want to be like the best at their gym. But here, you know, everyone's got something better on everyone. And we have like Muay Thai champions, we have Jiu Jitsu champions, and you know, you're not going to be the best at any one thing. And then everyone's got their day here. And sometimes you have a good day, sometimes you have a bad day, just depending. All right, well, thanks a lot, Bo.
everybody, you know, make sure you check out TeamOyamaMMA.com. They're going to be opening a new facility in mid-July. Make sure, you know, you want to learn some Muay Thai, some MMA, some Jiu-Jitsu, get down to it here in Irvine, California. And hopefully we get to see you all call to arms. Yeah, and sure. best of luck to you in the future. All right, thanks a lot, Nate.